In this screencast, uh, we'll see that induction can be used uh, for uh, proving many useful things uh, to a computer scientist. So let's start with the number of nodes in complete binary uh, trees. And the formal statement that um, we will prove uh, using induction um, can be formulated as follows. Show that the number of nodes in a complete binary tree of height h is equal uh, 2 to the um, h plus 1 minus 1. Right? h plus 1 is a power of 2. Okay, my math editor is not that sophisticated. So, uh, let's see. This is a complete binary tree of height 0. Right? Consists of only one root node. This is a complete binary tree of height 1. Okay, let's uh, draw a complete binary tree of height Okay. Right, so this is two, right two. And just so to fill up the white space over here and to uh, I guess give us more examples to work with. Um, now let's draw a complete binary tree of uh, height three, right? And uh, in a complete binary tree, uh, the every possible position on every level must be filled. Unlike in a full binary tree, where uh, only the non-child uh, uh, nodes must have uh, both children present. Internal nodes must have. Um, uh, two children. All right, so here's here's a full binary tree. All right. Um, so every internal node has uh, two children. It's not a complete binary tree. So every uh, every uh, complete binary tree is full, but not vice versa. Another thing to observe is uh, that. Um, there's a nice correspondence in complete binary trees between uh, levels and heights, right? So uh, it says, uh, uh, this is level 0, this is level 1, this is level 0, this is level 1, this is level 2, um, uh, and um, um, this is level 0, this is level 1, um, and um, so this is level 2, um, this is level um, uh, level 3, and uh, and so forth. So so we can uh, quickly observe that uh, the number of nodes at height uh, uh, at level h, well, let's say l, right, equal uh, h equals to l um, is equal to two to the h, right. So the number of nodes at uh, 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 level zero is two to the zero, and then at level one is two to the one, and so forth. So what is our statement here in, um, that we're trying to prove? So for um, it, it, we're going to be doing induction on H. So and uh, the statement that we will be proving is that um, complete binary tree of height uh, H has um, of height H um, has um, 2 to the H plus 1 minus 1 nodes. Okay. So what's the base? Um, the base is S of 0. And uh, this can be readily verified that the uh, complete binary tree of uh, uh, height 0 has uh, 2 to the 0 plus 1 minus 1, 1 node. And that is true. We can all, all actually easily verify it for S1, uh, right? Um, and uh, uh, this is uh, 2 to the H, uh, 2 to the 1 plus 1, rather, minus 1 equals 3. And uh, yes, the complete binary tree of uh, height one has three nodes. 
Okay, so um, so the base case uh, has been shown uh, to be true. Uh, hold. So let's assume assume that um, S of H is true. S of H true. And now we need, on the basis of this inductive hypothesis, uh, derive the um, uh, this statement that it is true for s of h plus one. Now, what is s of h plus one? It's equal to let's plug in h plus one, and we get two to the h plus one uh, plus one minus one minus one. Okay, and uh, this is e actually equal to 2 to the h plus 2 minus 1. All right. Now, uh, what is the uh, complete binary tree of height h plus 1? Well, it consists of a complete binary tree of height h. And then uh, there is the leaf level. Which makes it of height h plus one. So, by inductive hypothesis, the number of nodes in a complete binary tree of height h is s of h. So the number of nodes in a uh, complete binary tree of height s of h plus 1, then, is the number of nodes in a complete binary tree of height h, which is s of h, plus the number of nodes on the level h plus 1, which is uh, 2 to the h plus 1. Okay. Now, what is that s of h is, by inductive hypothesis, is equal to uh, 2 to the... Um, h plus 1. Now let me erase this. Um, it's actually 2 to the h plus 1 minus 1. So let me erase this and um, we'll uh, write it again. It's equal to 2 to the h plus 1 minus 1. And then we get plus 2 to the h plus 1. So, and that gives us uh, 2 times 2 to the h plus 1, right, 2 to the h plus 1 times 2, minus 1. And what is this? This is 2 to the h plus 2 minus 1. This is what we needed to have shown. Now, let's um, uh, consider a, a simple but more programmatic example. So, uh, recursive code termination. Well, let's, let's write a, a simple uh, factorial function in uh, C. Long fact, um, if uh, n is equal to 0, then we're going to return uh, 1 and else a return um, n times a return n times uh, fact of n minus 1. Okay, and um, delete the space. So show that a fact of n uh, terminates for all n greater than or equal to 0. Okay. So, what's the statement that we're trying to uh, prove in this um, uh, in this example? Uh, the formal statement, the inductive statement. The inductive statement is that uh, S of n means fact n, fact of n terminates. Right. Let's use this notation that it terminates. Okay. So we're going to make some assumptions obviously, that we, we will assume that um, that return terminates 
we're going to assume that um, the multiplication terminates, the uh, 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 subtraction terminates, uh, the, um, the equality uh, Boolean, right, the equality operation also terminates. All those primitive, uh, primitive operations actually run and, and terminate in, in, a, in a finite number of, uh, number of steps. Okay, so um, obviously uh, S of 0 is true. So fact of 0 terminates. Now let's assume, make this inductive hypothesis that uh, assume that S of n is true for n greater than or equal to 0. n greater than or equal to 0. All right, so what's Sn um, plus 1? What do we need to show? To show Sn, uh, uh, the, 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 uh, that S of n plus 1 is true on the basis of S of n. So the, this statement basically says that fact of n plus 1 terminates. Okay. Um, Then, um, well, fact of n plus 1, the call to this factorial is n plus 1 times fact of n. So let's uh, okay, explicitly state that plus also uh, terminates. So that we can be sure that 10 plus 1 uh, will terminate. Um, OK. So, um, well, but fact of n terminates by um, uh, inductive hypothesis. Well, that means that then the multiplication terminates and so forth, right? Because S, um, the fact of n is, no, terminates, right? S of n is true. Uh, and these are also terminates. What well, that implies that. Um, S of n plus 1 terminates as 